In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brakes on this Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get into it. This should be a little cap right here. You want to take that off with the straight blade screwdriver. Just pop that off. Once that's off, you can take the hook and find one of these holes. Just go in the hole, give it a pull, and that will pull right off. Now take your wheel lock key, find your wheel lock. Take that off first using a 17 millimeter socket. Now you can go to the other ones using the same 17 millimeter socket. Before I take the last wheel bolt off, I'm just gonna hold the wheel, take it off, prevent the wheel from falling, and then slide it off. I'm gonna take these two caliper bolts out using a 13 millimeter wrench. Loosen those up. And grab the caliper and slide that off. You can use a brake caliper hanger. And you can hang it from the coil spring or using a bungee cord. coil spring. Now we can take the brake pads off. Now we're going to take this screw out. You want to use a Phillips head screwdriver. You may need a nut driver to get it out. Sometimes they don't come out so easy. And unscrew that screw. And the rotor should come off. If it doesn't come off this easy, you want to take a hammer and just hit in these locations. And just slide it past the bracket, it comes right off. Now I'm going to clean the hub surface using a wire brush. We can take these clips off, just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just pop these off. Now we're just going to clean this up with a wire brush. I just take some brake caliper grease and give it a nice thin coat where the contact areas are. Right there and right there. And take the brake pad clips, slide those in position, and another thin coat of grease. Do the same on the top one. Now take the caliper pins out. I'm going to take a little brake parts cleaner, wash down the pin. The boot may come off with the pin or the boot may stay on in that area. And if it's extremely corroded, you want to clean out with a pipe cleaner or a wire brush. Clean any of the corrosion out of there and use some brake parts cleaner. This one's not too bad. And just some more brake caliper grease, grease up the pin. Slide the pin back in. Make sure the boot goes all the way around. That's good. And do the same on the top one. Now on the hub surface, I'm just going to take a thin coat of anti-seize. just on the surface area, not where the lug bolts go. That's good. And take the rotor and slide it in place. And you wanna line up this hole right there with the threaded hole and put the screw in. Get that started. And just snug it down, not too tight. Put the brake pads on, they just slide on, just like that. Now we have to compress the caliper. You're gonna need a special tool to spin in the piston. You can't just compress it. It's because of the parking brake system in this vehicle, so we're gonna use this tool. As I turn this, it's gonna tighten it and spin the piston at the same time.
and loosen this up. I'm going to take the bungee cord off and slide the caliber over the brake pads. Take the bolts, get the bolts started. Snug those down. Now we can torque this to 26 foot pounds. If the slide pin or the caliper pin is spinning, you can use some pliers to hold it, keep it from spinning, and then torque those to 26 foot pounds. After you're done, you want to pump the brake pedal nice and slow. There's going to be a little air gap between the brake caliper and the brake pads, so you want to take in that air gap. Once the brake pedal feels pretty good, you'll be all set. Now put the wheel back up, line up the holes, and get the bolt started. Take the other bolts, get those all started. And the wheel lock and key. And we'll snug those down. Now we're going to torque these lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. out and take the center cap. If that center ring popped out, you want to put that back in. Line that up. And pop it in place. Then if you have that little cap, you want to push that on. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.